Using grid skin change your designs completely. It can make your designs look more professional and mainly it saves a lot of time in aligning content and other elements. Well, these are the four grids most commonly used by all the designers. So I'm going to show you how to create it in Illustrator so you can save the template and use it whenever you want to design using grids. Stick around. Let's get started. Okay, we are in the Illustrator right now. So I'm going to create a shape, just a outline and I'm going to select this. I'm going to reduce the size. So whatever grid you're creating, leaving a margin space around it. It's a good thing to follow. Okay, now I'm going to select the outline and go to object, path, split into grids. So we'll get this panel here. Okay, we have to select the preview right here. Okay, now we can see the columns have been added. For now, I'm going to keep five, but uh, you can increase how much of columns you need according to your design and the content which you're going to add. I'm going to keep five for now. And here, if you see, you'll get the gutter option. Gutter is nothing but the spacing between the columns. You can see that if I increase the gutter, you can see that there is a space increasing in between the columns. This helps when you are placing larger text, for example, a big, big paragraph uh, so that it will have some space in between the text. And I'm going to press OK. And here we go. This is the column grid. Before working on this, I would suggest you to select everything and go to view guides and make guides. So we are doing this because uh, the grids will stay in the place. So when you're placing any element, it will the corners will help you to snap it and uh, keep it in the place. And that's how you create column grid. You can see how the column grid is used very well in these posters. Placing column grid will help you to maintain a uh, consistent in uh, typography or if you have a larger content or larger paragraph of text, this column grid will help you to place it in a better way so that you'll have a lot of room for the content and also it look very neat and organized. As you can see these designs, for example, okay, now we're going to move to the modular grid. So we're going to follow the same step what we followed for column grid outline. We'll leave the margin space and we'll select it and we'll go to object path split into grids for modular grid. We're going to use both rows and columns. Let's just click the preview and uh, I'll keep the rows as seven columns as five and gutter. I'm going to keep 14 and 14 for this as well. And when I click OK, here you go. We have the column grid here. So you can use the same thing. Uh, you can select everything and you can go to view guides and make guides so that it will stay in the place. And also I have a few examples how the modular grid can be used. We can say that the modular grid is a upgraded version of the column grid. We are looking at the horizontal lines as well, wherein uh, column grid is just uh, vertical lines. So we're combining both. We can explore in placements. You can see these references as uh, like images also placed very well using this modular grid. You can do these kind of designs using modular grid. Now we are moving to the hierarchical grid. Guys, this is a little complicated. For hierarchical grid, there is no particular template or particular way to follow it. Explore with your own idea and your own template. For example, I'll show you in this design. So we're going to follow the same thing as we did for modular grid. So I'll go to the object path and split into grids. I'm going to click the preview and I'm going to increase. Okay, I think this this aligns well. And now I'm going to go to the columns and I'm going to increase. As you can see that the text, everything is placed well, but this main element, main image, uh, which they've used here, it doesn't have any guides or any grid for it. So what we can do is we can create a space here. So I'm going to select everything and you can see the shape builder tool here. And by holding alt, I'm just going to click and drag and erase. Okay, as you can see, this whole part is gone now. So I'm going to create another shape here. Try to match, match it. And now you can see that this poster's grid is ready, which is hierarchical grid. So you can remove this. So we can save this template and we can use this when we are designing any poster. Same thing you can follow for any posters and create your own hierarchical grid. As you can see, I have done another grid here where there is a lot of focus space here and rest of the places I can add uh, small images or text I can place or maybe a small paragraph to give a small brief on it. Basically, hierarchical grid is bringing a focus to the design by guiding the audience eyes. So people who are looking at it, we are controlling them uh, which part to show bigger, which part we can uh, give focus to. 
uh, following that to the other smallest elements maybe a text or something whatever elements we're gonna add in the design you can create your own hierarchical grid using more references or maybe you can explore with your own imagination something like that so that's how you create hierarchical grid finally excel grid again this is a little complicated grid so to create it firstly i'm gonna draw a straight line and i'm gonna increase the stroke let's say that we can call this as a primary line and i'm gonna just rotate it and i'm gonna place it like this so whatever excel uh, grid you're working on you can uh, use this vertical line as main primary line or maybe a baseline for your typography designs or any elements which you're gonna add in this style okay now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a pen tool and i'm gonna click here and i'm gonna hold shift and click and drag i'm gonna decrease the size of the stroke i think this this would be fine so we can call this as you know secondary guidelines for this and i can just uh, duplicate it and place it wherever i want i can even uh, decrease the size and uh, just keep one side and i'm gonna copy this and place it this side two different ways and that's how we create excel grid i have few references as well for you guys to understand well you can see this design how they've used the excel designs to create place this typography in a very strange way also it looks very neat you know that's the uniqueness of this grid as you can see how they've used the silhouette images the text to rotate around and place it in that guide and uh, make it look more unique and more modern kind of a design so is a is another example how they've used the typography basically using this grids the text won't look more cluttered it will look absolutely clean and neat if it is a larger paragraph also you don't need to worry about it you can just place it like this and play around with it and that's how you create all these four grids you can save all these as a template and you can use it whenever you need or whenever you're designing anything with a grid you can use these templates and that's all for this video please do like and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you again in another interesting video see you all designers